Ah uh, yes, to my amazing people, my name is Zed Godiambo and I am a freelancer journalist from Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, guys, uh, guys, uh, to my these amazing people, I think today is a sad story about my sister Hapa. Uh, the picture you are seeing on the screen anajulikana kama Mary and she happens to be one of the fighters ambao walipata kujituma sana kuelekea maeneo za Saudi, you know the Gulf Middle East countries even though we are having issues uh, na mambo na mistreatment, mambo na torture even though some of our ladies wanafanya vizuri sana but cases zimekuwa rampant sana. Uh, this is my amazing sister alipambana kama mpambanaji ambaye alijituma sana mpaka ikafika tamati akapata nafasi ya kurudi maeneo za nchini hapa Kenya uh, for vacation baada ya kupambana for the two years ambaye alikuwa pale maeneo za Saudi but akafaulu kabisa baada ya kufaulu alipata kurudi maeneo za Kenya na alirudi maeneo za Kenya uh, kuf, yani you know for the vacation but after that after that uh, amepata kufariki kwa njia tatanishi sana and according to the families and also and friends uh, wameshtuka sana na kifo cha uh, mmoja wao ambao alikuwa mpambanaji ambaye alipata tu kurudi maeneo za Kenya kwa vacation uh, um, according to the uh, according to the family report uh, it is a bit unfortunate that uh, the family wamepoteza msichana mmoja ambaye alikuwa mpambanaji sana according to the family report wanasema kwamba 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 at uh, this issue happens to be one of the uh, disturbing to the family kwa sababu when they look at it ni kwamba huyu msichana alitoka maeneo za kwao on Thursday kwenda kutembelea dada yake ambaye alikuwa anaishi mayu mayu akaenda kumtembelelea lakini baada ya kumtembelelea akatoka akiwa ana, akiwa kwenye barabara yani njia akirudi maeneo za kwao yani akirudi kwake alipata kuanguka chini and then she just collapsed wale watu ambao walikuwa karibu wakajaribu kumrush to the hospital to you know uh, apate yani ile medical uh, attention you very fast lakini upon arriving at the hospital uh, she was there, you know uh, ikasemekana kwamba alikuwa amefariki ilikuwa ni uchungu sana to the families and also friend and guys i wanted also to talk about this kwenye comment section watu wamekuwa wakisema kwamba most of our ladies wamekuwa kipotea kwa njia tatanishi sana and they wonder how this is happening na leo hii nimeisi uchungu sana kumuona huyu dada ambaye you guys you can see the memory that she, this lady had akiwa maeneo za Saudi these are some of the pictures or some of the videos that uh, we happen to have hapa akiwa maeneo za Saudi akifanya kazi vizuri but upon reaching the home aka collapse and uh, lipo peleko maeneo ya hospitali ikasemekana kwamba uh, she is no more and she has gone imeleta gumzo sana kwenye mtandao wa kijamii kwa sababu imekuwa ni kama uh, watu wengine walisema ama wengine uh, walisema kwenye comment section ama likiwa sumu wengine wasema sijui uh, au mara nini lakini guys i don't want to you know get into touch and stuck niingilie sana lakini um, uh, ni uchungu sana kumpoteza and uh, njia tatanishi we are only waiting for you know we are sometimes also waiting for the results yani ile postmortem results tujue kwamba kiini na chanzo cha dada yetu Mary kufariki ilikuwa ni kipi what was the main issue or almost the main cause of her death sababu kubwa yani kiini chanzo na kiini cha kifo chake ilikuwa ni gani kwa sababu alifanya kazi vizuri maeneo za Saudi akapambana akakuwa mpambanaji ambaye alipigana sana mpaka siku zake za mwisho ambapo alimaliza contract yake na akarudi maeneo za Kenya kwa minaji ile tu yani kupata kupumzika alikuwa mama mzazi pia lakini sasa hivi yani ni uchungu sana kwa uh, the people and the family and uh, to my amazing people ambao wamekuwa kinifuatilia sana aha kuna vitu ambavyo watu wamekuwa kiongelelea sana wasichana wetu some of the time watu wanarudi maeneo za Kenya lakini baadaye unapata kwamba amerudi na complication mtu anarudi anakaa kitu kama one month hivi anafariki mtu anakaa kama dada yetu ameka only three months after kutoka maeneo za Saudi ya kupambana guys uh, she had to you know struggle for almost you know at the two years mpaka uh, zikaisha na akapata kurudi nyumbani for vacation but hata hakupata kuendeleza yale ambayo alikuwa nayo the dreams this lady had to, uh, the dreams that this lady was chasing kwa sababu alipofika maeneo za Kenya for the vacation of three months amepata kufariki ni uh, butu ambayo imepiga kila mtu na kila mtu anayemzungumzia kwa sababu alikuwa ni mtu mchangamfu mtu ambaye alipenda watoto mtu ambaye alikuwa mtu wa kujituma sana guys but for her, for us ni kwamba it is a big loss i want to say this i want to send my condolences to the families and friend of the late mary and uh, tungependa sana postmortem results itoke tujue kiini na chanzo cha kifo cha dada yetu even though inasemekana kwamba ali collapse but we want to know exactly what led to her collapsing and you know uh, being declared that uh, she is no more how 
and uh, to to my you know the other people to my amazing people the other side also we want to send uh you know our this uh, as a message to you guys because uh, sometimes you need to be keen also you know as you interact with one a person you interact with the other things that you are doing sometimes what you know me pale kwenye comment section guys i want just to reason with people at the comment section kuna watu ambao walisema kwamba uh, sababu inaweza kuwa ni kwamba alikuwa akitumia zile chemicals baadaye chemicals zikaenda zikamu affect nini nini zikafanyika but sisi kama sisi mimi kama mimi mwenyewe naongoja tu nasubiria sana zile postmortem results na hapo ndiyo nitatoka nitajua chanzo na kini cha dada yetu ilikuwa ni gani it is a big loss and it is a big loss not only to uh, the family but also to the friends and all those people who knew her as a jovial uh, most of the friends from the tiktok she was by the way guys i'm forgetting that uh, she was the best and uh, she was my fan pale kwenye na TikTok most of the time she has to comment alikuwa kini text yani you know sending me messages pale uh, replying to you know my post and also sometimes i also you know nilikuwa nikimvite on my live tunapiga story sana and is a big loss also because uh, you know somebody akipotea hivi uh, inaniuma sana kwa sababu she was the one of the most people ambao walikuwa committed sana watu ambao walikuwa wanazungumza watu walikuwa naongea na watu watu wa changamufu but right away ni kwamba uh, she is normal to the families and friend i want i once again send my condolences naomba kwamba Mungu awabariki yani Mungu awalinde uh, awabariki na bado waendelee kuwalinda mpaka ile tamati ambapo mtapata kumpumzisha uh, dada yetu ambaye anafahamika kama Mary kwa wale watu ambao pia watu ambao wanapitia machungu kuna watu pia wampata kufariki. Najua yeye si mmoja tu ila kuna wale familia pia walipata kupoteza wanao. Wengine bado wamekwamilia maeneo ya Saudi, wengine bado wako kwenye mochari huko, wengine bado wako kwenye hospitalini wamekwama, wengine pia wako kwenye deportation. Mimi na som, yani naomba tu serikali yetu ya Kenya tafadhali, uh, ha, tafadhali angalia jinsi ya kusaidia wale wasichana wetu kwa sababu most of these ladies wanakufa kwa sababu ya depression. To my amazing sister ambaye ametuacha leo hii, uh, ni uchungu sana to Mary, ni uchungu sana and to the all the families at large ni kwamba We only send our condolences to US chanzo na kini cha dada yetu Mary ilikuwa ni kipi what led her, what led to her death hiyo ni swali ambayo kila mtu anajiuliza hadi nasi yeyote ambaye yuko hapo maeneo za Kenya anajiuliza sababu kini ilikuwa ni gani yani kini kwa sababu inasemekana kwamba alipotoka tu kwa ile nyumba ya dada yake akitembea aha hakuenda ta a, distance refu lakini akaanguka na baadaye wakajaribu kumkimbiza hospitalini baadaye akafariki chanzo na kiini cha kifo chake ni ipi that is what now most of the kenyans are asking let uh, the family do their postmortem we know exactly what led to her death it was only three months since she left saudi arabia akiwa may, akikuja maeneo za kenya for vacation and now she is no more it is a big loss not only to us not only to the other people who knew her but I, as you know kenyans at large because uh, she was a promising lady she happens to travel hata kwenye kwa economy ya Kenya pia amechangia kubwa kwa kubwa kwa sababu the moment she traveled the other side i think amefanya mengi and now it's upon uh, you know the family also wafanye ile postmortem tujue chanzo na kini even though inasemekana kwamba ali collapse if it happens that alikuwa na condition nyingine fulani we will want you know get to know exactly what really happened wacha tuongoje results postmortem results tujue chanzo na kini cha kifo chake meanwhile at the comment section guys tell us what do you think about the dismiss of uh, Mary Wona dani chanzo na kini chake yani chanzo cha kifo chake ni za kuwa ni ipi tell us that the comment section what do you think about this also send your condolences messages uh, you know at the comment section hatuna budi kusema kwamba kwa heri dada yetu tulikupenda lakini Mungu amekupenda zaidi we will still remain to remember you for the good and uh, the moment we share together pale kwenye live yangu and other sides of also and also the friends who knew you I think it is a big loss not only to me but most of the people who knew her. I thank you and uh, to uh, those people who are watching you can also send your condolences at the comment section tell us what do you think about the dismiss of our this an amazing sister she was a vibe not only uh, to the family and also to those people who alikuwa namjua but I think it is at Kenyans at large it is so painful uh, the moment I'm talking about her story I'm in tears and I hope that God may protect the family wale ambao watu wamewacha nyuma wote. So guys, thank you meanwhile don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. My name is Zed Godiambo and I am a freelancer journalist from Nairobi, Kenya.